So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can use and activate Godric's Great Rune. Now if you've beat Godric the Grafted, um, you'll get this from him straight away. I actually posted a video on this earlier, how you can cheese him and beat him quite easily to get this Great Rune. It's actually a rune that once you activate and do a little bit more work with it, you actually gain a plus 5 to all your attributes. And today I'm going to showcase you exactly what you need to do with this. So from here, where we're on the map, guys, uh, Margate the Foul Orm. And this is basically just right by where you kill uh, the big fella, uh, Godric. And then this is where you want to go. I mean, you've probably got all these because we're going to actually run past all these. But I just want to make sure you guys know exactly where you got to go. Eventually, we will come to this one right here. Uh, so from this spot, this is where you got to go. It's quite easy, guys. It's quite easy. Now, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so you just want to follow the path. There's another uh, grace there, so you want to activate that if you haven't already. You probably have, but I know for people that have just beat Godric, I want to figure out how you use this rune, which I will state. I don't think it works as intended, but hey, it could just be a bug. It could be legit. I'm not too sh I'm not too sure, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, there's an eagle up there who will try and attack you. I'm gonna dive by me right now, but if you quickly run over here and jump on this, you are good, and he can't get you. You little bitch! Yeah, get away. Now, guys, you just want to run up here. Now, there's quite a few enemies up here. A few ads up here. You can fight them. That's completely up to you. It ain't too hard to run past him if you copy what I do. You probably get hit once or twice, but nothing too bad. You want to run up here, guys, run past these dudes. And you just want to keep rolling here because they throw firebombs and they can hurt you quite a bit. Now, this door won't be open for you, so you want to open this door. Once you do, climb up it, climb up the ladder. If they want a message on the floor, stop me. So just climb to the top. Now, you do want to come back and explore this area, guys, because there's tons of things to collect here. Tons of things to collect. I'm actually working on a video which showcases them all. Now you can go right there, but you really want to go left and watch the guy on this corner because he will try and jump out on you and get your ass. Get out of it, boy. Okay, so we need to keep going around and come this way. Now there is a couple of uh, sneaky little methods in where you can uh, avoid some quite hectic paths, uh, which I'll show you anyway. So just run up here. I mean, like I said, this is simple, guys. This ain't hard at all. This ain't hard at all. If you were to try and fight things, it would be quite hard. Okay, so then we just activate that grace there, which is this one right here. And now, guys, we want to go to this place. The Limgrave Tower Bridge. Now, you can activate this one. This one doesn't really matter. But for, for now, we want to go here. This is how you activate the room. That's what today's video is all about. So from here, guys, just run and jump onto this building right here. Then you want to jump down here just like so just like so and then just run this way you could actually i could have jumped over that wall there and got down but i just know this way i just know this way so then guys want to jump over this edge right here and run back because that big old dirty crab can get you i don't know if it is is it crab is it a spider i'm not even sure i'm not sure any more people i see from here we need to go, it ain't gonna let me pull out my map because... We, well, we need to go right. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna run past all these ads. Just like so. Few dodges, few rolling, few ducking and diving. Then just go again. I mean, like, it's quite easy. I mean, like, as you can see, I'm not even getting hit. So a few dodges. Oh, forgot about them. Yeah, avoid them as well. I'm too good for these mob. Oh, the firebomb gets me though. Typical. Typical. And now, guys, we just want to go through here. Now, be careful because there's a big old dirty dog there, which you don't really want to be fighting. So, you just, just roll. Once we get through here, we are actually fine. So, just let my stamina come back. And once we get through this door, guys, there's another grace we can just activate, which I'm going to do anyway. And there we go, guys. There we go, guys. So, 
Let's go up here. This is where we need to go. Now there are a few things we do want to run past them. I mean, these are the, I think they're golems, are they? There's three of them spawn in here, which can be a pain in the ass. But there's a guy at the back, like an archer, big guy. You can actually use him to kill the other dudes if you want. But it isn't too difficult to just run straight past them, to be honest. So just run straight past all of these. Woo! See, they're not hitting hot, that hard. Not hitting that hard. So let's keep going. Now you want to probably a few rolls here. Now this archer, as you can see right there, just let him have a shot and then just and then you'll miss. Then we just run straight past him. Look at this so slow look. So big and slow. And just a couple of those. You can see that the portal right there. And we need to go to the to the back side of it. Travel to this destination. And here we go. <clears throat> when it eventually loads, I apologize about my slow Xbox Series X. My slow Xbox Series X, you know what I mean, people? <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so from here, I mean, you can go down there. There's a couple of collectibles down there. A couple of eagles you have to fight. Nothing too bad. But uh, for the purpose of the video, let's just get on with it. And now we need to activate this lift. Now, because I've already been up there and already done this, uh, my lift's already up there, so it's got to come all the way back down. All the way back down. So we'll just wait patiently, as you do. Ooh, cause a whirlwind, you know what I'm saying? There we go. It travels up pretty far. So it don't feel that far when you're actually on the lift, but that's coming down for ages, man. There we, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now we just jump on and stand right in the middle of it. Then we're going to go back up. Then we're going to go back up. Shame we can't lock directly up to see where we're going. quite high up it's quite high up nothing down there to collect is there because you never know with this sneaky game you never know with this sneaky game things can be hiding everywhere i literally do hide everywhere it's craziness crazy and i've spent like 40 hours in this game just exploring and finding things <laughs> okay so now you want to activate this uh grace here yeah? and just follow the building around that grace is that one there by the way Okay, so now we just go this way, this way, and then guys, you'll just activate it right here. There's nothing to fight here, although it does look like an arena. There's actually nothing to fight here. Just activate it right there, guys, and you'll see that you have it. And let me show you. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Okay, so there it is right there. Raise all attributes. Now, it don't actually do anything as of right now. So what you need to do, guys, is go to your nearest grace point and you'll notice that there will be a new slot called Great Ruins. And here it just gives you a quick tutorial of what you need to do here. Um, so like it says there, with the Great Rune menu, you can equip Great Runes so that uh, have had their power restored. You can use a rune art to give even greater benefits to your equipped Great Runes. But that actually ain't true. Because if you see, let me, let me quickly show you. Have a look at my attributes right here. Uh, you'll see, that actually with this applied, nothing actually changes until you consume a rune arc, which is just weird. Weird. So if I put you in there, I'll put you there, guys, and you'll notice that my shit is the same. Now, if I consume a, a rune arc, like so, you'll see that my attributes actually raise. And the weird thing is, guys, you'll see there, they've raised. When you die, you lose your attributes. You, you, you'll lose that plus five, so you'll have to apply and consume another rune arc. So it's going to get pretty expensive. Now you can purchase these. I'm going to take you to where you can actually buy these. You need to go to here, the table of the lost grace. And there's actually a vendor here. And like I said, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the way. Is it? Is it a bug? 
I'm not sure guys, honestly I'm not sure. So we go this way. And the vendor is down. What the hell was that? This way right here. There's a vendor and you'll see that they sell them for 4,000 each. Absolutely crazy, this guys, absolutely crazy. And well, there we have it. That is how you uh, use your Godric's Great Rune, uh, apply it and get the benefits from it. And yeah, I hope the video helped you out. I really do. But on that note, guys, it has come to the end of it. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.